Hi everyone, welcome back to More to Love Homestead. I wanted to share with you today an exciting upgrade that we are making. In the preparation to move 625 miles, we have really been going through and everything that we use on this current homestead, evaluating if it's something that we really wanna lug that far, or if it's something that maybe we can sell and buy new or something that we really don't need. It's a process and I'm in the toy area today because every other space right now is a combination of boxes and piles of stuff that's up for sale. It's, it's quite a process to clean out this large of a house and downgrade everything so that we can do this in as few trips as possible. One of the things that we realized over the course of the last growing season is that our little four tray dehydrator was just not quite sufficient <laughs> for the amount of stuff that we're doing. One of the things that I really enjoy is um, learning and making my own teas. So last year, one of the things that we uh, expanded was our areas of mint, lemon balm, um, and I started doing some research on using the leaves of my raspberries and my strawberry plants. They can be dehydrated down. A uh, red raspberry leaf tea is a very, uh, it's a very good medicinal tea for women's health, which is something we all should be concerned about. So anyway, Nick came to me not long after we got back from Kentucky this last time and said, I made an investment. And he sure did. So we're going to open this up and we're gonna talk about it. And then I will hopefully shoot part two where I use it for the first time because I have never ever used anything quite this big before and I'm excited. Before I get into this, so just so you understand, we are going from a little four tray Presto entry level dehydrator from Walmart or Amazon, I don't know because I didn't buy it, to this massive Excalibur. So let's open up this thing and see, especially with a toddler in the house, you always gotta close these things up. All right, oh my goodness, this thing is really heavy. So these are the trays, stainless steel trays. Hopefully they're gonna be a lot easier to clean than the ones we have now, which are plastic and have so many little nubs and everything, it's ridiculous. Ooh. We might have to switch, because <laughs> I can't lift this. So we had to switch because, you know, somebody can't lift it. So here we go. It is very heavy. I, I brought it in from, you know, it being outside with the mail carrier. So I know how heavy it was. And I was interested to see her try to get it out. But that's okay. Ooh. Ugh. So where's the door? Dehydrator. It's an EXC10EL. I didn't order it. This was Nick's. This was Nick's choice, and I trust him because he usually does a lot of research before he buys stuff. He's the man when it comes to like reading the consumer reports and all that stuff and finding the best deals. He's very good at it. But look, they even have instructions for how to unpack it because there's people like me who really are big on following directions. Ooh. Tape from each corner of the dehydrator. There is no tape. Glass doors from the foam packaging. I don't see glass doors. Do you see glass doors? <laughs> They're probably in between the foam layers. The tape. Even with the directions, this is complicated. All right. Door. Door. So we're gonna put this thing together and we will ba be back in a minute to show you its maiden voyage on a homestead. I wanna tell you a little bit about why we chose or why I chose this dehydrator. And I'm gonna be brief, brief about it, but you can get very cheap dehydrators. I mean, you can get an off brand of this one for about half the price. Um, maybe even a little less, honestly, but it's just that it's an off brand. You're going to get what you paid for. Um, 
you know, there are good brands like that one that we have now. Um, is just the cheapy. I bought it years ago because I wanted to do beef jerky. And it worked, but it took so long. I wanted something here that was going to last. You know, something that was going to last a long time. Um, and so the reason why we bought this was because from all my research, Excalibur was the best. Um, you know, just their brand of dehydrator just lasted a long time it was reliable and on top of that it comes with a 10-year warranty because this was purchased new so it comes with a 10-year warranty i don't know the warranty process but a lot of these you know if you just send it back or whatever they will usually replace it for you on top of that it was big so this is 10 tray so this is one that can do quite a bit in a short amount of time compared to having to you know do a couple things take them out couple more things, take them out, do four or five batches as opposed to maybe one or two. It's a big difference. Um, the other thing is this is like, this has like all the bells and whistles. It's got a timer, temperature control, uh, automatic shut off, all these different things, which is really cool. Um, because the one we have now, just you plug it in and it just, it's just on and off. Yeah. So um, this is a lot different than the one we have. Lastly, uh, the reason why I bought this particular one was because I think there might have been one more countertop one. In other words, one that wasn't on a cart and you rolled it around. I didn't want to get that because, again, we got to move this thing. And I just, I mean, we have a lot to dehydrate, but I don't think we got that much. Not to mention they are thousands of dollars. I did not go that route for that reason because I just felt it was a little overkill. So while I do want something good, I want something with good capacity. I don't need, you know, a fridge sized hydrator. So that's why we bought this one. Um, you could buy it on Amazon, eBay. I personally bought off eBay from Excalibur and it is brand new. So let's get back to Ginger now that she's done with the setup. All right, so we're gonna try this and to shift things around in here to make room for this thing. From what I've read, you want about 95 degrees, which is I think the lowest that this will do until they're crunchy. So I went out and I got some raspberry leaves, which my raspberries are going crazy right now. I just noticed I have a ton of prima canes that actually can be dug and maybe I can uh, get enough to plant a grove down in Kentucky because these are Caroline raspberries and they are absolutely delicious they are they're my favorite and they are an organic variety i, I don't know if the variety is organic but the plants we bought were orga organic we don't use we're not necessarily organic here but we don't use any pesticides or anything like that we try to treat things as naturally as possible so this should in turn give us a really nutritious and delicious product. All right, so we'll set it for six hours and that way it'll go off sometime in the night and I will check them in the morning. If they're not quite dry, I'll restart it. And now we wait. Okay, and here we are back. I'll admit it, it's a few weeks later. We've had a little bit going on, but we're gonna check on our red raspberry leaves because I have some oregano and peppers and some other stuff that I wanna get dehydrated before they go crazy on me. I did find that the leaves tend to fly around within the dehydrator. There's a nice tray in the bottom that will keep them together, but I had to uh, salvage some from the bottom <laughs> before we filmed this. But this is all ready to go for tea or whatever you wanna use it for, so. The dehydrator is great. It took about, um, I think maybe all told it was like six or eight hours. Only because I just wanted to make sure they were really, really done. I'm, I'm new to this. I don't want to take any chances. So, I love my dehydrator, honey. Thank you.